<laughs> this is the thing this that we is get serious. up to. This is, this is, is he called up? Got nothing on us. <laughs> See, Jim, she's Crusader, we do it all yeah, different. Yeah, we do it different. Yeah, what we do is we wait for it to be as horrible as it can be, yeah? New Year's Eve when no one's out fishing, and then we go. <laughs> and we catch nothing. When it's cold. <laughs> <laughs> Windy and raining. Right, table. It looks quite bright on there, but we'll see how we go. Um, it's New Year's Eve 2012. Me and the very... Mad Mikey. Mad, well, he's very mad, obviously, Ill. but Ill. the half-ill <laughs> dying Mikey has made it. Um, I think he's got the old uh, mad cow's disease. I don't think it's that other stuff. So we've managed to get down to... Uh, where are we? Brock Mikey kind of got here and realised he'd fished it about eight years ago. Yeah, a um, long time ago. Things have changed now. The water's come up, and there's an, another big lake that they're digging over the back now. So things look different compared to when I fished it. But we'll see how we go. I mean, it's lustre as hell. It's soaking wet over here. It was raining when we got here a little bit. It's now 25 past 11. Um, we got here what? Eight. Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock-ish. Um, by the time we walked around, a bit of rain and that, and, and found out how soggy it was, and checked all the swims and had a look about, yeah, we've just finally managed to get everything up and, and salted, and the rods are out. Not out, not fishing, but they're they're, they're waiting to be done. Um, but we thought we'd get the uh, get the start of this video in and done, just to let you know where we're at. Uh, and you can you must be out where the wind is absolutely blowing like a monster out here. Uh, there's a little bit of rain going on, very cloudy. And again, it's just new to us. We haven't Mikey hasn't fished this for a long time. It's the first time I've ever seen it. Uh, some nice fishing here, we've been told. Some cats as well. Wait for this wind to die down a bit. I hope you're getting all this. Um, but yeah, we've. Luckily there was a couple of barrows in the car park as well, which was handy that we managed yeah, to use. Nice uh, good barrows and all right, so we've uh, borrowed them, managed to get set up. from behind us, we've set the bivvy up so it's coming on our back right. Um, I'll, let me just have a quick spin, new tripod and all that to see how this works. Try and give you a little look of where we're at. So my rods are there you can probably see the the water moving quite a bit and there's a pan round to the right we should be able to see Mikey's rods down there and again like I say they're, they're not fishing yet they're all just sitting there they're all set up how we like them uh, OCD style and uh, they're just waiting to go and we're just sort of going to talk you through possibly what we're going to be using and and where we're going to be fishing as such or how we're going to approach this it's not too serious obviously it's never too serious when we go fishing we just come to enjoy it but we'd like to catch but we're not going to sit here and really go mental about finding the right spots it's quite an hard day out here with the wind so we've got three rods out each we have a couple of different uh, approaches on different rods and hopefully one of them's going to pay off that wind is proper pelting right spin it round So that's the score at the minute. I like say nearly half eleven. Um, on my rods, my left rod, I'm going to have in close, and I'm going to do that on some grubs, JW grubs. I've still got some close in ones. Uh, going to be a normal knot, this knot, just a little lead, nothing too fancy, just quite like I say in close, so I can get the bait all around it. Middle rod's going to have a stiff dinged choddy on it. That I've had a few results on, but the plan with that is just a little bag. 
maybe a few broken up bits of boil of some sort. And I'm just going to wang that right out in the middle. Uh, let that pure, put that about at distance and just see if we can get anything up off that. And then my right rod again, not too far out, is it? My right no. rod is. My right one's going about, what do you say, 50 yards? So yeah, 50, uh, 50 yards, 50 yeah, 50 yards out. 50 yards pretty front. much, yeah, straight in front of me. Uh, again, I think I'm going to do a little snowman rig on that. So, so we've got a bit of everything going on. And we're just going to see how it goes, really. Um, I don't know what you're doing, we're doing chuddies or? I'm going to fish on the uh, left hand rod and the middle rod. I'm going to fish both on the same spot, about six foot apart. I'm going to fish a choddy on it uh, with a cell pop up. Just light, and then um, with the match, with the grubs that smell of coconut, I'm going to uh, put them out on the same spot next to it and see what we can get started on. Then I'll have one, my third rod, just in the margin. But other than that, I think I'm just going to play it straight through, two rods on one spot, and see if I get a pick up, and then move all three if I have to. It depends on how the, how the situation goes. The cast is going to be a nightmare at distance, though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. But if I see showing fish, I'll cast see your it. That's your Mafia. problem though, is you're going to have, you're, you're going for spots, aren't you? Whereas my distance one's going to be at, he's going, I'm going to plonk it, do you know what I mean? I'm just going to go, right, that's going at distance. Like, say, I have his, or it's going to be glugged up, really, do you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? So I don't have to worry too much about spot, whereas you're going to... I want to, I want to just try, yeah, anyway, yeah, yeah, I want to try and stick on two rods in one spot, and, uh, like, like I say, I want to see if to find where the fish are holding, I'll put two spots, uh, two out there, and see which one they take on, I mean. I mean, if you, get, if you do get a spot right, and you find them taking one bait, and then you revert over, and then you might get both going at the same time. Yeah, you yeah. get like, multiple takes, basically. But yeah, I just want to go out there and... Yeah, that's what happens. Mikey having dinner early. Yoda's dumbbells. Oh. I thought I was in. <laughs> I get a strike. Don't put that all on me. I think that's on you. That was all on me. I saw it. I didn't want that in the mouth. Raining, raining. It's ten to two. I finally got my three rods out about twenty minutes ago, and we've been here practically all day. So let me have a quick see if I can do this. Left rod is here by this tree, right in close. Not far out at all. It's on the grubs, JW grubs. Uh, just a few round it, tiny little bit of pellet round there on, on a little stick like the middle rod is and that's the island there is out here but quite a distance as far as I could ping it with uh, with the trees above me that's on a spar baits black SAS pop up uh, it's the uh, stiff hinge style choddy that I like to do and that's got a little uh, stick on it as well. It's more sort of here, really. And then the last one. Well, the last one is the right one's about here. Again, this one's not too far out, not as far as the middle one. And that is on a an Anthony Yoda, <laughs> a Yoda special, shall we say? Is a uh, little plum barrels that he'd made up and that he had down birds green and he'd give me some to use if I wanted to down here just as a little bit of bait because I was running a bit low Mikey has got one rod out been messing around with rigs as you've seen the state of the bivvy 
That's his second rod just going out now. And he's still got one more to do. So he might get that out by tonight, you never know. But yeah, we've literally, it's been a very relaxed session, shall we say. We've just got here, looked around, oh, excuse the camera work, looked around, taken our time. Weather's been really horrible. The ground is mushy everywhere. And uh, so yeah, we took our time. Picked somewhere where we can get the bivvy up with the, with the back to, uh, to where the wind's coming from. The wind's coming straight over the top of us. Down that way. Well, that don't look like it now, it's changed a bit. But, uh, hopefully with any luck, we'll have some joy. But again, it's more just for the pleasure. We come out every year. It's about being by the lake. That's definitely what it's about today.